picture. Hello! <laughs> uh, got some more noodles. Um, Oolongmin. Uh, I got these at Tesco's at the weekend. Um, went to a bigger Tesco store so they had a larger world food section. Uh, yeah, I got the Oolongmin. Um, oh, okay. this flavour is uh, chicken basically, uh, and this one's beef. So uh, I'll be trying these probably first. I also got some classy ones. Yes, this I it it just says instant noodle king. And the rest is completely in a foreign tongue. Oh no, it's got a thing on the side saying chicken soup flavour. Uh, abalone. Oh, maybe it's abalone. Mm. I don't know. But basically, uh, yeah. <clears throat> it's got the sort of proper foreign packaging. Uh, I've got a feeling this is either... Uh, I think this is Japanese because the, it's written downwards. Not sure. Uh, yeah. No. Oh, here we go. It's got a thing on the side saying what's in it. Uh, pro oh, it's a product of China. Oh, I was wrong. It's Chinese. Chinese noodles. Right. And. Uh, 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 um, <laughs> I can't even pronounce that. Poor Babur. Poor Babur. This is uh, rice noodles with beef flavouring. Um, I've had one of these before and they were actually quite tasty. So um, I'm slightly cheating. I'll probably be giving it a high score anyway. Um, mainly because I've got a very bad memory. I, I can't really remember what ones I ate last time. I don't think they were beef, I think there was something else, but um yeah. Fubu <laughs> Uh yeah, yeah, um these are uh, basically um very good noodles. Um I've got other stuff. Well, some of it appeared in that video. I have an unfortunate thing first video I did isn't on YouTube where I was opening all these packets of stuff because something happened with the uh, chip and the file got corrupted so I'm probably going to have to redo that without the packaging uh, so it won't be as suave and sophisticated as uh, Stuart Ashen's video of opening sort of these funny little packs uh, I, I'll have to show you the top of the painting of um, uh, Honour, or it won't really make much sense. I'll turn the light on so we get a better view. These are my collections of toys that I've kept because... I really like them. Um, some are still in the packaging, mainly because you know they got little fiddly things that I don't want to take out. Uh, my favourite Marvel character, right in the back there, uh, is Moon Knight, who a lot of stupid people think is um, Marvel's equivalent of Batman. Actually, he's a lot more cool than Batman for me. Uh, I know most people go, oh, General Grievous, but I have to admit he was quite a cool character. Not as cool as as uh, Darth Maul, who I thought was the most stupid move in any of the Star Wars films in killing him off. Uh, fortunately, they did bring him back, though, in the Clone Wars uh, TV show. It was the main reason. I, I went off the first two seasons. And then when I found out he was back, I thought, oh, great. I've got a box set of the whole series that I've got to sit down and watch at some point. 
there's the little Lego policeman from uh, the Lego movie because the Lego movie for me is probably one of the greatest films ever made uh, if you notice there that Superman isn't the actual proper Superman that is a Superman from an alternate dimension um, where he is the head of the Justice Lords not the Justice League and they're very sort of right wing and totalitarian but I think his suit looks even cooler than Superman's um, in in the appearance he had in Justice League uh, he lobotomised um, Doomsday with his laser eyes which I thought was really cool and I wish Superman did that a lot more you know not, having, not breaking Zod's neck just lobotomising him would have been a better move uh, yeah, there's that little uh, red bloke from the boy band that I got from um, um, Poundland the other day. There's a few other oddity ones. There's um, I've got to include the um, Transformers Optimus Prime because that was in the video that was corrupted unfortunately which was a right pain in the arse because I, I actually really enjoyed making it but um, all of it is pretty in good condition especially my little TARDIS which uh, I got this at a junk shop will it work? <laughs> It sometimes works and then doesn't. Oh, I don't. Is it going to work? Is it going? Where's the battery going again? Bloody thing! Oh, here we go. This is from the uh, 1996 um, run of the show uh, when they made the TV movie. Loads of merchandise came out that was actually good. There was some pretty cr horrifically bad merchandise in Doctor Who going back to the original series, including the uh, toy Daleks that they actually used in a couple of the stories that don't actually look much like Daleks because the heads are way too small but uh, yeah that's basically um, it I'll probably do a noodle video in the next hour because I'm a bit peckish anyway see you later